Hey everyone, Donut here, and we're going to take a look at a shooting out of Olathe, Kansas that happened back in August involving the Olathe Police Department and the Johnson County Sheriff's Department. This whole incident started when 26-year-old Sierra Howard was on work release from the jail. She was supposed to return back to jail after work. She didn't. Instead, she went to her boyfriend's house, and that's when police called up with her a few days later. The officers knocked on the door to the boyfriend's house. The boyfriend came out and said that she had locked herself inside of their bedroom with a gun. Howard was alone in the house, but quickly became a barricaded suspect after she shut the door on police police and refused to come out of the home. The entire incident ended up lasting three hours. Police talked to her through a bedroom window trying to tell her to come out of the home and she refused. During the incident, police brought up her boyfriend. He was pleading with her to put the gun down and come out, but then Howard began threatening to kill herself. That's when police made the decision to go in. Sierra, I need you to go out the back door. I need you to do it now. Sierra, I need you to go out the back and I need you to do it now. We're going to send the dog hey. in. Sierra, I need you to go out the back door and I need you to do it now. Sierra, we're gonna release the dog! Sierra, I need you to go out the back and I need you to do it now! After a three hour standoff, several officers stacked up behind a shield and went in with the dog. The officers were being calm with her, saying, hey, just come with us, there's no new charges. If you get to the jail, you can bond out and come right back here. Sierra, I need you to go out back, I need you to do it now! Sierra, I need you to come out now! I need you to come out. If you don't come out, we're going to send the dog. I need you to come out, Sierra. I need you to come out or we're going to send in the dog. I need you to come out and go out the back door. I will keep the dog here with me until you get outside. But I need you to come out now. Be nicer for you and us. I'm not going to debate with you, Sierra. I need you to come out and I need you to come out now. Sierra, I need you to come out now. You need to come out here now. You can come out here to me if you want. That's fine. I'm going to put you in handcuffs and I'm going to take you to the county. I need you to come out here, Sierra. I don't know how many people are at the county. I need you to get out here and I need you to come out now. I need you to come out, Sierra. I need you to come out now. I need Dude, you to come out here now, Sierra. You need to come out. Make the smart decision and come out here with your hands where I can see them. Sierra, you have a bond. You can get out and come right back here. That's one of the county guys talking. You've got a bond, so apparently if you post bonds, you can come right back here. But if we end up having to send the dog in there after you, that's no longer an option. I need you to come out now. You've had enough time to think about it, Sierra. I need you to come out now. Hey, Sierra, here's what... Here's, you, you got two choices here. You can either come out and go with us, or you can come out, get bit by the dog, and you're still going with us. Do you want to get hurt in this whole situation or not? You're going to get a bond, just like every time we've ever picked you up. You have a bond. Yes, this is all old charges. You have a bond. You just violated. No, there's nothing new. There are no new charges yet. Please come out here where I can see your hands, Sierra. I don't want to release this dog. I haven't lied to you yet. And I will release this dog if I have to. So I need you to cooperate with me, and I need you to come out here with your hands where I can see them. <coughs> I need you to do that now. Several times during the video, you can hear her laughing. She's arguing with the police officers. You can hear her say the police officers aren't real police officers. And then towards the end of the video, when the dog starts barking, she starts barking back at the dog. Come out now! Get out here, Sierra. Come on. Quiet. 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 Sierra. Come on. Quiet. Quiet. That's enough. Come on. Now here's where a lot of controversy in the video comes from. People are saying, well, she was mentally ill. Why didn't the police just wait her out? Aha, the million dollar question. Let me know in the comments below why you think police didn't just wait her out after three hours. The last part of the video is a tragedy. I hate that she had to be shot right here, but I don't see anything else that the police officers could have done at this point. She slams the door on the officers. The officer with the shield forces his way in. And as soon as the officer with the body camera rounds the corner, you can see Sierra with a 45 caliber pistol pointing it right at the officers. It even looks like she's a attempting to rack the slide. They give her several commands even though she is pointing a real gun at them and then after 13 seconds they open fire on her. If you come out here, yes you can. No, I ain't going out there until I know your legitimate colleagues. That's enough, Sierra. Get out here. Prove it, I've been talking to you police. for over an hour. You know I'm the I'm police. not myself, but I'm going to talk goddamn police. Fuck me. Give me a ticket. Give me a ticket.
The Johnson County Chief District Attorney ruled that this was a justified shooting. One thing I want to point out about this, if you read the article by the Kansas City Star on this incident, is the author Joe Robertson says Sierra Howard's last act of defiance was slamming closed the laundry room door that stood between, between her and an arsenal of officers determined to arrest her one more time. I could be wrong here, but it looks to me like Sierra Howard's last act of defiance was pointing a gun at several police officers. Let me know in the comments below your opinion on how police handled this situation. I'm interested to hear what all you fine people have to say about this. Before we end this video, there's another video I wanna show you of an incident out of the same area of Olathe that I just I just wanted to point out to everybody. It just looks like Olathe's been having some problems lately. A video was released on Facebook that I can't find anymore showing two kids getting into the trunk of a car before I, I guess the father gets into the car and drives off. Olathe police are investigating the incident, but I just want to go ahead and point out to anyone out there who's in Olathe or anyone thinks it's okay to put your child in the trunk of a car while you're driving, that it it's not. It is, in fact, illegal to put your children in the trunk of your car and drive around town. Anyways, everyone, this is Donut. I hope everyone is having a fantastic day. Next week, I'm going to start my full-time streaming schedule since I am a partner with Twitch now. It's Friday. The weekend is here. As always, if you're going to inject the marijuanas or have a little of your favorite booze this weekend, don't drive. Please have a fantastic weekend.